All right, a little while back, I did a review video of this LaCity battery box power station, which is a bring your own battery power station. It's an awesome device, and I'm super happy with it. I'll go ahead and leave a link to that uh, review video right up here somewhere. And uh, I have another review video that I'm going to do in the next week or so for the pro version of this same battery box. So be sure to subscribe if you're interested in seeing that. But what we're looking at today is something else they sent me. Let's take a look at what this is here. Again, just like the other, the battery box, it comes in a nice uh, coated box, which works great for shipping in bad weather, keep it protected from the rain and stuff like that. What we got here, whoa. Let's just go ahead and take all this stuff out of the way. We have a 30 amp smart charger. I'm gonna quickly pause this video for a moment and ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and the like button as well while you're at it then ring that notification bell and get, to get notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Now let's get back to it. The beauty of this charger is it does 12 volt and 24 volt and lithium ion phosphate, AGM, gel, and lead acid batteries. So what's nice about this charger in multiple ways here that makes it really cool is on this end you have your power plug to plug it into the wall. And on this end is an Anderson connector. So what that does is allows you to simply plug this in to your LaCity power station and charge it up from uh, grid power. But that's not all it does. So it comes with their standard uh, for charging a battery uh, alligator clamps so you can click this in here and use it just like that on a regular battery for your car battery or your solar batteries your lithium iron phosphate batteries is obviously the main thing I'm interested in but it's pretty cool to have the ability to use this on your vehicle as well especially when you're in a small space an RV you don't want to have a whole bunch of uh, extra stuff that you don't need when you can get an, a unit that does all of it and at 30 amps, that's a pretty good, hefty charger. The other thing that it comes with is if you had, a, say, a dedicated battery bank, you can hook these terminals up to your battery, and then you can just leave this hanging off there anytime you're ready to, oops, anytime you're ready to uh, charge it up, like that. So say, you know, you needed to charge from grid power or um, your, your generator or something like that if you had an off-grid setup, which is what I am working on doing. So that's really cool. So what we're gonna do, we're not gonna go ahead and charge, this is already fully charged. So what we're gonna do is get a regular uh, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery and we're gonna charge it up with this charger today. Let's get that set up and we'll demonstrate the, uh, the functions of this screen and that sort of thing. And we'll be right back. All right, so let's go ahead and get this plugged in and we're gonna go ahead and charge up this watt cycle 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. So when you first plug it in, the lights come on this screen here. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. So we can see here, we're on the lithium iron phosphate setting as I believe the previously used uh, thing or by default or something there. We've got our, uh, Battery voltage, which is standard for lithium iron phosphate. The current, I got it set to 30 amps. If you wanted to change that, you can change that here with the amp button. So there's, it goes up in five amp increments. 15, 20, 25, and 30, and as low as five. We're gonna go ahead and set this on 30. And then, uh, 
this would be how you would change the mode so there's AGM gel and lead acid again we're doing lithium iron phosphate which is life po4 so we're going to go ahead and use our standard uh, alligator clamps we'll go ahead and hook that up first what's nice too is these have a nice clamps go so you can go either way sideways or like so I always feel like this gets a better connection so we're gonna go ahead and do it that way and we will plug in our charger As you can see, the light turns red. So we can see here, we got 14 volts, constant current of 30 amps. As this gets closer to the 14.6, you'll see it switch to constant voltage instead of constant current, which again is what you'd wanna do with lithium iron phosphate. So we're gonna go ahead and let that charge. And there is a nice fan over here that's not too obnoxiously loud. There is some noise to it, but it's much less than, uh, than most of my inverters or something like that. So, All right, we're going to go ahead and let that charge up. And then we'll get back to you with our final thoughts on this uh, charger. All right, so I wanted to go over my final thoughts on this charger. It, uh, it, at the time of this recording, it's about $135 which I think is a pretty good deal uh, considering um, all of that it can do, being the, the multi-battery chemistry and the, um, the Anderson connector. I was already at using these Anderson connectors. I would take my existing uh, chargers, cut the ends off of them, and add these to it because these are so handy uh, to be able to plug in and change devices. I use these things all the time. So you know that would cost you 10 15 bucks right there just to be able to do that so with all the accessories and everything that it comes with it, it i did feel it a few times while it was charging it got a little tiny bit warm but any any battery charger is going to get warm it's actually much less warm than my 40 amp charger that does not have a fan so i was really happy about that i think i'm going to start using this as my everyday charger because I'm doing battery reviews and I need to charge a lot of batteries all the time. So one other thing that I like is this plastic um, protection they have on the outside. I'm not sure how well that would hold up if you dropped it, but it would prevent the metal case from getting dented if you did. And then there's some, uh, some holes here that you can use and mount this up, which I may do or I may not, I'm not sure. Um, so overall, I've been happy with everything that I've got from the city. They seem to be doing a fantastic job in making a quality product for a relatively unknown name. So I'm really impressed. Uh, this started out as a small company, just like a guy that had some great ideas and started building stuff. So I, I love supporting a small company like this and I really like this charger, especially if you have a city power station. Um, it's just a it's a it's a no-brainer So yep, I would highly recommend it links in the description below if you want to check it out Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video